Hello, today is Saturday, the 14th of November, and this is the Daily Word, and I am Father John Barry. And since it's Our Lady's Day, we'll do a prayer in her honor. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of the Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race, the grace of eternal salvation grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her, through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's go to the Word of God for this Saturday. A reading from the third letter of John. Beloved, you are faithful in all you do for the brothers, especially for strangers. They have testified to your love before the church. Please help them in a way worthy of God to continue their journey, for they have set out for the sake of the name and are accepting nothing from the pagans. Therefore, we ought to support such persons so that we may be co-workers in the truth. I'd like to add just the ending of his letter. I have much to write to you, but I don't wish to write with pen and ink. Instead, I hope to see you soon when we can talk face to face. Peace be with you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends there, each by name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, surprise, we're in the letters of John for a second and only a second time. And we won't be back to this book in a while. But third John is the presbyter writing to the church, you know, the priest John. And it's a glimpse into what's going on in the church at his time. And they're beginning to witness the love of God, not just inbound in community, but they are witnessing it out to people, even it says to strangers. And this pleases uh, the presbyter as he writes to Gaius, uh, who seems to be the, the name of the person leading the region, the church region that gets this letter. You're faithful in all you do for the brethren, for the brothers and sisters. That's really a nice compliment that is started off with. And it says, uh, please help all these strangers in a way worthy of God for them to continue their journey of life. So do what you can to bless anyone who comes to you. And, and I, Jesus, get to minister to these people through you and out to them. Help them on their journey. And so... This is what the church tries to do, especially in our social concerns, where we don't just reach out to people who are Catholic, we reach out to whomever because we are Catholic. I borrowed a line from Cardinal Hickey when he talked about Catholic charities. He says, uh, when we talk about John writing to the church way back when, he says, we ought to such support such persons being co-workers in the truth so for the sake of the name sometimes our church witnesses by by our outreach by our love by our care by our getting involved in things that that god's truth needs to come in and take part and we get to be messengers then of the truth now let's look at the the close of this letter because i added it in today for this Father John, this Presbyter John, like the Father John writing this letter in the Bible, it says, I have much to write to you, much I wish to communicate to you. Uh, and he says, with pen and ink, but, but instead I hope to see you soon, face to face, when we can talk. Well, that just sounds like me during the coronavirus. And I have much I would like to say to you, and I try to say a lot in these daily words or in the Sunday homilies or all these religious ed classes we're taping. And uh, 
but I long for the time that we can see each other uh, face to face. Don't you? I sometimes get a little concerned about how many people are going to come back to church or when, or how afraid are they going to be. At the end, John just says, peace be with you. And so I say that to you. Peace be with you, brother and sister and families out there. And the friends greet you. So there are people on the staff here working. There are people that are coming to Mass, 500 plus. People coming to daily Mass. People are coming on, on Fridays to our adoration, to our confession. People coming to our 24-7 tabernacle window. People coming to assist with our food pantry. Uh, so the friends greet you. So there are people that are here. that are involved. We haven't had anyone get sick. Um, but we say to you, uh, a blessing out to you, wherever you are. And we hope that, that you are, are doing all right. We hope your faith is, is still uh, buoyant. We hope the Holy Spirit's at work in you through all of this that we're going through. All right? And Our Lady, today on your day, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.